Right, hi, it's Jim. I'm doing a few videos today, so I don't just constantly wear the same t-shirt. Just thought I'd point that out. Um, I'm trying to get a few videos that I've got backed up at the moment, just get them all out um, and get them done for you guys who obviously are interested in seeing what I do, apparently. <laughs> so yeah, I'm Jim, Extreme Booter, part of the Extreme Booter, should I say. <clears throat> Welcome to the channel. If you haven't watched before, please subscribe. Button should be down here somewhere. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the May um, sales update. Um, so um, I pick out some items that have sold during the month that I've picked up on previous videos. Let's just move this camera slightly. There you go, that's better. Pick out some items that I've already shown on videos and that I've picked up and, 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 and shown that I've picked up. And then I complete the cycle, if you will, and show you um, the sold item on eBay. I only pick out maybe 10 to 15 items. Obviously sales, uh, uh, unfortunately for us, are a lot more than that. Um, but this is just to, to, to give you examples. And I pick out some of the stuff that uh, has either done really well or some of the fails or some of the stuff like that. Um, obviously you'll see the uh, selling price in the video. Um, I will also give you the price I paid, which is from previous videos. You will have seen the items, hopefully, if you've watched the videos. And then, um, obviously, you can work out, if you want to, the profit um, on, on the item. I don't give that profit item. You have to also remember, I don't give the figures less um, fees. I don't give the figures less postage. I always offer free postage on my items, unless it's something out of the ordinary and it's going to cost a lot to post. Um, I do that to make the pricing, the pricing competitive and for it to stand out more on eBay, because with free posting, you do get um, a bit of a better um, view rate on eBay. So, um, I will now shrink myself down into the corner and I will go through um, the sales that I've picked out for May and uh, we'll see what we can uh, see. Right, okay, so here's the items. <coughs> First thing is Adidas uh, Climacool um, golf jacket. Nice jacket to be fair, found in a charity shop for £4. Um, sold for $16.95, so not a bad return on clothing there. Um, Pleased with that. Next item is this awesome Garfield phone. Um, I found this at a car boat down at the caravan. I believe I paid a fiver for it. It might have been seven. Um, but as you can see, $49.95. So that was that was one hell of a find. Um, I wish I could find things like that every day. That's uh, nice, retro, it's cool. Um, really good seller and really quick sale as well. Um, so yeah, really good, really pleased with that. This was uh, WWE Monopoly, found this for 50p at a car boot. Condition on it was absolutely mint, which really helped with the price. Um, 14 95 really pleased with that, nice sale for a board game. Gunson's Gas Testers, I pick these up whenever I see them, because people don't realise the value of them, which is really good for me. Um, I've actually picked up another one at the weekend, um, this one I picked up a few weeks ago for three pounds, um, fifty quid. Boom. Um, the condition wasn't great on this one, and the box was a bit, uh, bit ropey, and the sticker was coming off. So sometimes you can spread the price even more, maybe sixty, sixty-five for them. Um, so yeah, really, really good seller. I'm really pleased with that one. Uh, this is a windbreak for a tent or for the beach. Um, I picked up two exactly the same for, I think it was £12 and a few pence because he wanted 15 and I got him down to 12 50 but I didn't have 12 50 in charge, it had to be like 12 35 or something like that. Um, so I got the two, they've both sold 17 95 um, so yeah, good return. Good time to be picking up camping gear because the summer's coming up, people want to go away um, and it sells really well. These are some of the shoes I picked up at the Jumble Trail that I did. Um, one of the only few pickups I made on that Jumble Trail, but uh, yeah, really, really good. I paid um, £50 for these trainers, a set, uh, a pair, a set, um, a pair of Adidas uh, XR, some 20s or something like that, and some Doc Martens. These trainers sold really quick, 34 95 I think I probably could have got a bit more for them. But I'm I'm happy with that return. Um, the Adidas ones sold for fifty, 
because they were pretty much brand new. They were absolutely mint and boxed and they were quite rare it turned out. They were different colours to what normally were in that brand or that model of trainer. So they sold really quick and went, I think they went to Brazil. It was in Brazil or Mexico or somewhere like that. Somewhere South American. Here's the Doc Martins. Um, I hadn't spotted when I first bought them, but these are the 10-eyelet ones, so they're slightly higher than normal um, up the ankle. Um, and as you can see, $79.95 for these. I paid up for the shoes, as I said, I paid 50 for the three, um, knowing that they're worth the money. Um, and, well, these went for 80, the other's 35, and the other's 50, so that's 165, is it, off the top of my head, from 50 quid, so... That's why I sometimes pay up for quality because you know you're going to get the good returns on them. Uh, this was a Clark metal folder. Um, paid £10 for it um, and got 50 A um, bit of a pain to post because of the size and the weight um, but didn't cost, cost about £7 I think to post so still made a nice, nice healthy profit on that one so pleased with that. This is a rain cover for a push chair. Um, on one of my previous videos I showed I found um, a guy was just clearing out loads of, of ex mother care stock from a, must have been a store that was shutting down or something. So for a fiver I got about 20 rain covers and different carry cot liners and things. Um, this is just one to show as an example but this one sold for, for $16.95. Some I've sold one for $29.95 I've sold another few for around the £20 mark. I think I've got two or three left on a couple of carry cots. So return on that five has been brilliant. Um, they sell really well. They were brand new anyway, so um, that's all good. Um, yeah, really pleased with them. Really good. I wish I could find stuff like that every week for that sort of money and get that sort of return. Uh, Fred Perry bag. Um, knew this was money as soon as I saw it. Got it for a pound. Uh, £29.95 return on it. Really nice bag. They, they, they really are quality items, these Fred Perry. I've picked a couple of Fred Perry bags recently. Um, and I will continue to do so because the returns on them are great. And they sell really, really quick. These were the lights for a Mark III VW Passat. There's probably hardly any of them left on the road. <laughs> um, but these sold really quick. Um, I think it was because they stood out. Because there was nothing like these on eBay. They, they hadn't been before that were in completed items anyway. Um, I paid £3 for them from, from a guy at the car boat, and I got 50 I think I could have got more for them, um, which is always annoying. It's always annoying when you think I could have got more for that, but I've got to be happy with a £40 plus profit. I, I, you know, I'm not going to knock that. I'll take that all day long. Um, but I just think I could have got a bit more for these because they sold really quick, and there was a few questions as well on them. So, But there we go, nice return, good, good item. Uh, Power Caddy electric golf trolley bag. This was a ridiculous pickup. We paid something like, I think it was £3.50 for this bag, a rain cover bag, two golf clubs and some other bits and pieces, some shorts, some shoes. Amazing. Um, as you can see, this went for £24.95. This is the storage bag for, for the trolley. The rain cover's all, also gone for 20 and I think the clubs have probably sold for about 40 50 So again really good time uh, timing to be able to get them for that money and uh, really really happy with the return on that disney cars i know cars sell really well this was a job lot that i bought at a car boot and paid three pounds for i couldn't believe it when i when she said three pound for them because wow um yeah i paid three pound but also in there was uh, six i think planes disney planes and uh, Frank, the combine harvester from Cars, who I've took out, I've sold him. No, I'm selling him for fifteen. He's on a, on his own. I've sold the cars for fifteen. No, the planes, sorry, for fifteen. And this is the job lot of the cars. It went for forty nine ninety five. I always pick cars up when I can find them cheap. You rarely do find them cheap. I mean, these these were silly money, but uh, yeah, awesome. Look out for cars. They're a really good seller. Um, they're really popular with kids. My, my son Charlie, man, he's got loads of cars. So when he grows out of them, they will be going on eBay. Boba Fett Blaster, um, really cool. Loved this. Paid a pound for it. Um, £14.95, easy sale. Um, Star Wars stuff's obviously uh, mega popular, but you do have to pick the right things. Some Star Wars stuff is just made in such quantities, 
Um, there's just no value, but reasonably pleased with that pickup. And finally, a Lumix, Panasonic Lumix camera. Um, I paid £50 for the camera and two Nintendo DS's. Um, I haven't listed the DS's yet, but they'll go for about 20 each, maybe, maybe a bit more. And the camera, there you go, £130. Excuse me. Really nice camera. I've got the model camera above this, and which is pretty much the same camera, but mine shoots in 4K. This was only 1080p. But brilliant, brilliant camera. Panasonic makes superb items. Always look out for Panasonic when it comes to cameras. Um, I've sold another one today, actually, a Panasonic Lumix. Not the same model, a smaller compact. Really good return on that as well. Um, so, yeah, good, good, um, good money, good sale. Um, really, really happy. So yeah, there's some sales from May. Um, I hope some of them find, uh, you know, are, are of use to someone. It just shows I do sell a, a big variety of stuff, um, from sports equipment through electronics, um, gaming, um, clothing, and anything, anything that I can find um, that can make money. Um, yeah, so I'll uh, keep going. This this month's going really well already. Had some some massive sales so far in June, and it's only just the sixth today. Um, so really, really happy. Um, I'm going to now plough through the huge amount of stock that I've got in my conservatory before the wife gets home. Otherwise, I will be in trouble. See you later.